everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be filming my most highly highly requested video which is my everyday makeup routine i'm gonna go really in depth i'm gonna try and do my best and go step by step sorry if i'm talking a little soft i have some people sleeping in my house right now so i'm trying to be like really quiet if you are not yet subscribed to the family please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to put the post notifications on which is the bell button so you never miss an upload and let's get started i'm just gonna clip my hair back right now i don't know how people can do their hair or not their hair their makeup without putting their hair out of their face because not me okay so first i'm gonna get started on my eyebrows i have microbladed eyebrows i just wanted to put that out there honestly i don't really like the shape and i thought about getting them laser removed just because i feel like i really want to try out the straight brow but i mean see how there's like kind of an arch like i want to get rid of the arch you know but i can't really do that because they're tattooed on my face but honestly, I've been fixing them with concealer and I feel like it looks good. I don't know, I just don't want to really go through that process with the laser hair removal. I heard it really hurts too, so that's also a reason why. But anyways, um, let me stop talking. I'm just taking this like flat definer brush and I'm taking the darker shade. I almost like never use this lighter shade just because I feel like that's not really my shade. But I might use it like, you know, in the middle sometimes. I'm just going to use this to fill in my brows i really like the powder i feel like it looks really natural honestly like i'm not super defined with it just because i go in with concealer later to clean up anywhere where i went outside of the line then i'll brush like really really softly in the middle and just blend it out with my fingers i feel like doing my brows is one of the hardest parts of my makeup routine just because my brows are microbladed so i feel like there's so many steps i have to do in order to like make them look perfect which is funny because like it should be the opposite but i, I guess i just don't really like how they faded over time i got this pencil this brow pencil a long time ago from walmart and it's called the u-o-m-a and it's called the one and done two and brow styler so it comes with like a brow gel and a brow pencil but i just used the brow pencil honestly it's really good and i'm gonna use this to fill in the rest of my brow that the powder didn't really fill in this brow pencil is super opaque too which is what i really like because i feel like i have really dark eyebrows and i don't really have to press that hard okay now that those are both filled in I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced concealer. This is in the shade Snow. I'm gonna use this to carve out my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna go in with this She Glam um, brow pencil. It's called the Brows on Demand 2-in-1 brow pencil just to draw in fake eyebrow hairs. And I just um, go ahead and draw them in front. Isn't this robe so cute? My sister got it for me for Christmas. It's so comfortable. So all I've been wearing around my house. I'm gonna go in with this um brow gel it's by trust fun beauty i'm just gonna use this to set my brows i like to do brows eyes and then my face so and then my lips so i'm gonna do my eyes now and honestly there's nothing special to my eye makeup i feel like besides the application of my lashes like for my everyday look i always just do like a brown eyeshadow this palette has literally been beat up by the gods like it's cracked on all sides it has this makeup that i tried to remove off of it like i've taken it traveling with me and that's probably how it's cracked before um but it's pretty beat up what the heck is he doing it's pretty beat up but i love 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 this palette so much i feel like it has the best neutrals for any kind of makeup look that i want like it's so good for natural glams and full-on glams like i just love it so i'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush i'm just gonna take this color and pack it onto my eyelids i'm gonna go in with a deeper cooler tone shade and i'm gonna go in with this i'm gonna focus on packing this more onto my eyelids but i'm also gonna blend it out to my crease the key to getting everything nicely blended is going in with a light hand 
and that's usually what I do for my everyday eyeshadow. Sometimes I'll make it a little more smokier. Today I don't really want to do it too smoky, so I'm just going to stick with this. Now that I have my eyeshadow done, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I absolutely love eyeliner. Like, I fell in love with doing my eyeliner last year. And I remember the days when I used to hate eyeliner, but now I just can't go out without eyeliner. Every time I don't have eyeliner on, I feel so, like, naked. I'm going in with the NYX Professional Makeup 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive. And if you want to apply your lashes the way that I do in this video, when you, which you will see, get this one, please. Or just get any eyeliner that also is a lash adhesive because the way that... I've been doing my makeup with this liner, with these kind of liners, has literally changed my makeup game by so much. So I'm gonna explain to you guys how, obviously, but first I'm just gonna do my eyeliner. I'm just gonna make my wing first. And I usually go around that length. And I have super, super small eyelids. Like my eyelids are pretty hooded. So I don't want to make a really thick eyeliner on my eyelid. So, I'm just gonna connect it like this. And then I'm gonna fill it in. And then for my eyelid, I'm not gonna talk during this part, but I'm just gonna make like the thinnest, smallest line connected to my inner corner. If you have really hooded eyelids like me, it's so important for you to make the inner corner eyeliner really, really small because if it goes anywhere above your eyelid, your eyes are going to look really, really, like they're going to look smaller and more like closed, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. The hard part is over. So now I'm just going to um, quickly coat my lashes. So I'm just going to coat my lashes. This is the Essence Lash Princess. This one is not waterproof, but I'm sure Essence has waterproof ones. Personally, I don't really care for waterproof unless I know I'm gonna be like swimming that day But I'm just gonna coat my lashes evenly I've been really liking these ones for more of an everyday type of look these lashes are from Shein and Guys, please do not sleep on Shein eyelashes I know some, some of them are like a hit or a miss But when you find the right ones, I'm telling you, oh my gosh, you save so much money I buy these in bulk on Shein and I literally have so many styles that I really like. But these ones are good for more of my everyday natural glam type of looks. These are super, super wispy too. And if you want to try the eyelash hack that I do in this video, and I do this hack every single day, make sure they're a tad bit longer than um, what you would usually cut your lashes to and i will explain why but right now i'm just gonna curl them really quick curling your fake eyelashes will make the biggest difference i promise you so now i'm going to take my eyelash glue this is the kiss strip blast adhesive this is the white one with the aloe in it this one is so freaking good so now i'm going to just coat the lash line of my fake eyelash and then i'm just going to wait for it to get tacky i just apply it onto my inner corner See how my lash, it's not on my lash line. I'm going to put it on top, like on top of where the eyeliner, I did my cat eye. I don't really know how to explain this, but basically I don't put it on my lash line. I, I, I actually put it on my eyeliner. And then I'm going to make sure the inner corner is sticky. And that's why it's really important to have that really thin line of eyeliner with the lash adhesive in the inner corner. So it stays. And then now I'm just going to flatten it a little. And sometimes my inner corner will come up. So I'll like squeeze it back into the inner corner like that. My real eyelash line goes down. I have kind of like almond eyes. I actually glue it like right here onto my eyeliner instead. And that is just how I've been doing my lashes. I just really like that upturned kind of look. Like because my eyelashes naturally droop down a little more so i really like that like more foxy kind of look so to make it get that look i just like blew my lashes more up higher i kind of um curled my lashes too much today so now they're like really <laughs> they're like super curled but it's okay 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the other lash really quick. Dude, I feel like my lashes are doing that thing where one of them looks different, but you know what? I'm too lazy to fix it, so just don't look too hard. <laughs> Now for the base, I'm not going to do primer. I don't really do primer unless I know I'm going out like for a really, really long time, like festivals and stuff like that. But for today, I'm not going to. So now I'm going to just go in with this like flat brush and I'm going to go in with the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. This one is in the shade Bare. This one is my go-to foundation. Frankie Rose is so good. I love Frankie Rose. Just going to squeeze some on my face like that and then it's really buildable as well and i just blend it out like this i already did my skincare too so um sometimes i'll go in with like a serum or, or something or some eye creams just to hydrate my face but because i just did my skincare i'm not going to you should always add a serum and a moisturizer before you go in with your face makeup like look at the freaking coverage guys it's so good oh my god it's so good like people be sleeping on this foundation i don't know if they sell frankie rose in sephora anymore because i remember i used to see it i don't know if you guys are interested i have a code with them and i will leave it on the screen for you but this is my favorite foundation it's so good i've been using it for years now and every time i put someone onto it they absolutely love it by the way i have a pimp pimple sticker right here um i'm just gonna <laughs> go over it because i don't want to take my pimple sticker off and put makeup on my dried up pimple i'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead i don't really like to do a lot of foundation on my forehead just because my forehead is a lot darker than my face but for my forehead, I'm going to go in with this small concealer brush and I'm just going to blend it out like this. And then after that's done, I just go in with the bigger brush that I was just using before and I just get everything else covered. And that is how I apply my foundation. Super easy. And then now I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is in the shade Snow. I like a really bright under eye. So, um, I go pretty light with my concealer, but this is how much I put on. Put some on my chin and some right there and then just a little bit on the center of my forehead. And I'm going to take this, um, Sephora brush. This one is called the Pro Concealer 71 brush. It just looks like this and I'm just going to go in and blend it. Never swipe when you're doing like foundation and concealer because swiping will leave streaks. So I'm just going to go in and pat it really softly. And I know it looks kind of like crazy right now, but when I blend everything together, it's going to look good. And I'll take some and put it on the side of my nose and that will help with my contour later. And blend in my forehead. Again, just lightly tapping. This is going to be a little hard because I have a sticker on my chin right now. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just blend everything together with this brush. And this is basically what seals everything together. You don't care. For contour, I go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This one is in the shade Deep Olive. I love using this for contour because I feel like it stays all day and it doesn't move. So I'll do three dots. It dries so fast, so I have to work pretty fast with it. So I only work on one place at a time on my face. I'll take this like angled brush and I'll just pat it upwards. I don't really go down because I don't want my cheeks to look lower. And I just go ahead and do it on the other side i only like using this concealer for contour i hate using that concealer under my eyes i feel like it's so drying and it gets so freaking patchy i don't know i know people that swear by that concealer and they love it but uh, -uh not me i've tried it so many times just because i wanted it to work so bad but you know what at least it works as a contour for me And then I'll bring it up to my temples as well. Yeah, and then you can also use it, you know, on the rest of your face as well. But I prefer not to just because it's so drying. So for my forehead, I'll go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. This one's in the shade Coconut. 
and I'll just put this on my forehead like this and then I'll put some on my chin as well and for my nose contour I'm gonna go in with the shade um, golden this is by NYX this is the born to glow radiant concealer guys I will not use anything else to contour my nose I'm just gonna blend out my face first before I show you how I contour my nose so I'm gonna go in with my nose contour now and I really love this shade for nose contouring I feel like it's the perfect shade for me so basically what I do is I just go under like this and then I'm gonna go on the sides just two straight lines and then I'm gonna make a circle basically on my nose and then now I'm going to make my bridge I'm just going to go up like that. And I'm kind of just following the sides of my nose. But I'm going to make the lines a little thick so I can make my nose appear smaller. And I don't bring it up any further than that because this concealer blends really nicely. And this is my go-to Holy Grail contour stick. This one is called the High Definition Brush from AOA Studio. And I believe it's literally like so cheap. AOA is such a good brand. Like their brushes are so good and super cheap. I'm going to let this sit because I feel like when I let it sit, it's just going to keep that in place. So while I'm letting that sit, I'm going to do my uh, liquid blush and today i'm going to go in with the juvia's place blush this one is in the shade blush lily this one is super super pigmented so just be careful when you're using this one and i'm just going to do a dot right there and this one you have to kind of work fast with so i'm going to go in with my elf blush brush and i'm just going to blend it out as you can see it blends out really really nicely and I always start off really small because I'm so afraid to add too much blush and then I have to fix it. And if you like that pink under eye look, go ahead and put it under your eyes. But I really like it just on the apple of my cheeks. So now that that blush is blended in, we're going to go ahead and blend in the nose contour. I'm going to use this brush and honestly just blend it out so i'm gonna take this line and blend it into my eyeshadow i'm gonna blend it towards my eyebrows kind of if you guys can see and then now i'm just patting it Patting it lightly is the key when you are doing your contour because you don't really want to move the product. You want to keep the lines there, if that makes sense. And that is how I do my contour. Sometimes I'll go in with concealer, but um, instead of concealer, I've been really liking using just a white eyeliner I'll just go in with the nyx jumbo eye pencil in milk and i'll just do a little bit there and then i'll draw like a line down like that just make sure you don't make the line like super crooked and i have this like flat brush kind of like what i used before except it's just more rectangular instead of at an angle and I'll just use this to blend out that white I just put on. I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used to blend out my contour. And just blend out those harsh lines that the white eye I'm so sorry. For powder, I've been really, really loving the one size powder. This is the mini sample one. This is the travel size powder. But I really need to get the full size one because this powder is so good. There's a lot of powders that I like. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go in with a powder puff and I'm just going to go ahead and pat that into my concealer area. Don't forget the sides of your nose as well. Oh my gosh, this powder is so freaking good, guys. You can see the difference. This is with the powder and this is without. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye. I'm so sorry that my dog keeps barking. Like, look at my under eyes right now, dude. Oh my gosh, this powder is so good. And then 
I'm gonna go ahead and just set my chin with that as well. And then I also set my um, smile lines. And my upper lip as well. And then I do my forehead. Make sure you get your eyebrows too a little bit. My eyebrows get kind of oily so they need some powder. So after that, I'll go in with like um, a flat powder instead just because the application is easier for me i feel like it's more spread out that way so i'll go in with a fluffy brush this is the fit me maybelline powder in 120 classic ivory and i'll just pat this all over my face i don't really swipe when i'm doing powder just because i don't want to mess up anything that's already blended and for this i'll just go in the areas that i did not set with the powder puff I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury powder because I recently just tried the setting spray. Oh my gosh, that shit is like magic in a bottle. So for my powder um, bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place palette. Um, this one is the bronzed one in the shade Tan. I'm just going to go in with this uh, same angled brush that I used to blend out my contour on my face. And I'm just going to go in with a super light hand because this bronzer is so pigmented, guys. And I'm just going to lightly brush on my forehead, chin a little, and then on my cheeks, I'm going to tap it really, really lightly. By the way, this brush is from Frankie Rose. This one's called the Blush and Contour Brush. Um, but you can find a lot of brushes that look like this as well. I have an e.l.f. one that looks like this too. I'll go back in with my contour brush for my nose. And I'll use... By the way, I'm only using this shade. I feel like this one is more for the summer. But I'm going to go in with this shade a little bit. And I'm just going to touch up on my nose contour a little bit. And for blush, I've really been loving the Conchita blush palette. I got this from TikTok shop and these blushes are so pretty guys. Like look, they're so gorgeous. Every time I do my blush with this palette, I never know which one I wanna use because they're all so gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go in with these two. I'm gonna mix both of these and I'm just gonna pat them. And apply it on the apples of my cheeks and then i'll go in with this lighter shade blush and i'll just swipe against my nose because i love how blush looks on my nose it's so cute and then i'll put a little bit on my chin just to give myself some color and then um sometimes the blush putting blush on my nose will get rid of the nose contour i did so i'm just gonna go back in my face is basically done but now i'm gonna do some under eye um makeup so this part's really easy i just go in with a really like flat brush like this and i just go in with like any brown from a palette and I'm just gonna um, dust it under my eyes. Now that the brown shadow is on, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I just put it in my inner corner like this. I'm trying to come close. Like this. I know it looks crazy right now. And I'm just gonna go in with like a flat shader brush to blend it out. See how that like kind of gives it like a doe eye kind of look? It's so cute. I love that. I'm so scared that I'm gonna run out of um storage. So I'm lucky trying to hurry up. But I'm gonna take this shade called marshmallow and I'm gonna put it on my inner corners. Now like make sure I blend it into my eyeshadow up here. I'm sorry about my dog. Now I'm just gonna go in with this tiny fluffy brush with the same a highlighter shade and put that on the tip of my nose oh my gosh wait what the fuck is that is there oh my god is there product on here there's fucking product on this oh my gosh there was freaking brown powder on that um brush okay and then now i'm gonna use it to make a straight line on my nose like that 
And then also I'm going to add some where I put that NYX white pencil. And then now I'm going to quickly do my bottom mascara. Okay, now that my under eyes are finally done, I'm going to do my highlighter really quick. I'm just going to go in with the shade Butterscotch from this palette and just, just brush that on my highlight bone. For my lip liner, I got these on TikTok shop. This is by Shkodi, Shkodi Cosmetics. This one is in the shade 303N. Guys, these lip liners were so cheap. They're only like $3 on TikTok shop for like 10 lip liners. Guys, I've been really loving this color changing lip oil from Boss Up Cosmetics. I also found this on TikTok. I know I'm probably annoying you guys with like all the stuff that I buy on TikTok shop. <laughs> TikTok shop is so influencing, okay? So I'm just gonna rub this onto my lips. And it makes your lips like a natural, really pretty pink. Like if you guys can see, it's already changing color on camera. I'm just gonna apply some on top. It's so cool because it changes colors. So that's what it looks like. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. This one is in the shade Coconuts About You. Guys, this lip gloss is so good. Like, I feel like people don't understand how good it is. Do you guys see? It's so good. Oh my gosh. Last step, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I will not use another setting spray than this one. This one is so good. I promise you, like, my makeup will not move with this setting spray. And that is the finished look, everyone. This is my everyday makeup. This is just what I do. I really hope I helped you guys with some tips. And if you try it out, please let me know. I would love to know that you guys watched this video and try it out. But yeah, so I'm just going to end the video here. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. If you guys want to see a little more makeup videos just like this, please let me know. Because honestly, I love making makeup videos for you guys. It's so much fun. And I love teaching you guys what I do and I love also learning what other people do as well. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!